Welcome back to week seven of the garden updates. And if you're wondering why I just killed a bunch of tomato plants, make sure you stick to the end as I give you tips so you don't make the same mistake I did. I first started off this week by putting some of these fences up, uh, kind of making a barrier to help protect my apple trees here and also my cherry trees and then use these stakes to just reinforce it so nothing gets through. So these are the two cherry trees and the first two were the apple trees. This is a cherry tree. We got some flowers here. Last year we had a bunch of cherries. Looks like we'll have a decent amount this year as well. You can see some green ones up here. Hopefully this fence will protect from the deer this year. They got all of them last year. So I got this trellis built up. Uh, it shakes a little, but only when I shake it. It doesn't really shake in the wind much. So this was a pain to set up because uh, I had to cut it in half. I mean, if I cut it in half first, so it was from this. Um, so I used this around the trees as well. And it's six feet tall. This is probably only three feet. So I had to cut it in half. Uh, and I was laying it out to see the distance. It's kind of a pain. So I didn't really get any video of me putting it up. Uh, it was a struggle enough trying to get it up itself. This is a climbing rose I have here. So I have them climb up here, go over. I don't know how far they'll climb over. I might end up putting something over here as well to plant all right before we move on with the rest of the video make sure to subscribe if you like this kind of content let's start by looking at some of my plants i've already planted in the garden so the peas are doing quite well they're starting to reach over to the trellis and grab a hold in some places no flowers yet and it's not even the end of april peas are doing good right next to them we got some carrots. I started thinning out this side. I'm going to thin out this side now. I'm not really measuring when I thin these out. I'm just kind of thinking in my head, how much room is a carrot going to need? And then usually clusters, I usually pick a few so there's just one in one spot it doesn't need to be super precise though is what i'm saying these are my brussels sprouts these are probably quite a bit bigger than they were last time i showed you guys here's our potatoes so we planted these ones earlier the other side we planted later these ones are starting to come up basically everywhere i planted i think like these two spots there's no potatoes yet but They'll come eventually. And look at these asparagus. These are quite large. I'm not going to lie. I did pick one and eat it. It was pretty good. I planted these last year from root stocks. A root stock, is that what you call root something? Root ball? Some sort of roots. And you should let it grow that year and then this year and then harvest next year. So. I only tried one, so it should be okay. I only tried one from here, I think. But the other ones are growing well. Here's the strawberry patch. We actually do have a few about to flower, or a few flowers about to flower. A few buds about to flower. So right here, you can see it's green right there inside. That'll be the flower and then that will turn into the strawberry. So here's that rose I showed you. It's growing quite well. And then we got some broccoli here. That's pretty big. Some more Brussels sprouts back there. Uh, this is actually some broccoli and cauliflower I just planted. So it's hard to see them. So this is the cauliflower. There's one, there's one. So four, four cauliflower, four broccoli. 
Welcome back to VoiceOver Noah. So here I'm just planting a bunch of warmer season plants like cucumbers. Uh, here's a spaghetti squash, some watermelon, uh, and zucchini. Uh, these are the watermelons. I think those are the cucumbers. So I planted like 12 cucumbers, um, just some watermelon. I'm not too sure where I'm going to put the watermelon, but I did get a new kind that I want to try growing. Um, I think that's the either butternut squash or spaghetti squash. I'm not too sure on that one. Um, so I'm getting these started as I can start planting them outside in about uh, half a month, uh, 20 days or so from now. We should be good on frost days. Our, the frost days should have passed by then. It actually looks really warm the next week or so, and I probably could start planting them, but to be safe, you're supposed to wait until that frost freeze day is over. And here's the patch of greens, both with weeds and lettuce. Got to weed a lot. We got cabbage, spinach, and just like head lettuce in this box. I planted all this side from seed, just in comparison to growing it inside first. So there's quite a big difference right now. Then we got our garlic here. So I planted these inside actually for six weeks, grew them up, and then I transplanted them out here to try to represent those two growing seasons because garlic has to go through a freezing period before it will actually produce larger bulbs. So I don't know if I got them out early enough to go through that freezing season, um, but they are growing pretty well, and you'll still get a decent size bulb, just not very big with like a lot of cloves. All right, so now the reason I cut all these tomatoes down, just got rid of them. Um, you can see here, there are a lot of diseases on these, and they were starting to spread to a lot of my tomato plants. So I decided to take all of them out. Sometimes if, if there's diseases and they're just spreading, the best way to take care of that is get rid of those plants uh, and not let it spread to some of the other ones. So just a tip. All right, and that wraps up today's video. I hope you enjoyed and make sure to subscribe for more content like this. We'll see you in next week's.